For the first part of the problem, remember that the angular acceleration is equal to the change in angular velocity divided by the change in time. So our final angular velocity is 1200 revolutions per minute minus the initial angular velocity of 3500 revolutions per minute. And the time interval is 2.5 seconds. So this can be simplified down to negative 2300 revolutions per minute divided by 2.5 seconds. And we're going to do a quick unit conversion because normally when we have these problems where we're dealing with with um, angular units, we usually represent angular speed with, re with radians per second instead of revolutions per minute. So we'll do a chain link conversion. We'll convert from revolutions into radians by multiplying by 2 pi radians for one revolution. Then we'll convert from minutes into seconds by dividing by 60 seconds. If we put this into a calculator, then we find an angular acceleration of about negative 96 radians per second squared. Now for part B, which asks for the total number of revolutions. Now if the acceleration is constant, then a useful formula to know is that the angular displacement is equal to one half of the sum of the initial and final angular velocities, all multiplied by the time interval. So in this case, that is one half of 1200 revolutions per minute plus 3500 revolutions per minute, all multiplied by the time interval of 2.5 seconds or converting into minutes, one minute for 60 seconds. If you put that into a calculator, then we find about 98 revolutions. So the wheel rotated 98 times. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. Bye-bye.